Hello and welcome back to the left side of reality. This is your host as always, you know the first. The last time we visited uh, Kamoshida's castle again and formally recruited on Kamaki into the Phantom Thieves. This time, as the little objective marker says at the top right there, we have a clinic to visit. I don't know what the heck we said to the old man just now. Unfortunately, we can't exactly afford to go to a regular doctor because we are involved in rather sketchy activities, so we need an equally sketchy doctor. Well, I want to remember what that guy said just now because it's going to be important in just a little bit. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well... Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. This theme that's playing right now is this character's personal theme, and it is called Butterfly Kiss. I had to stop talking for a moment to let everyone else enjoy it, because this song is a vibe. I could honestly listen to it for hours. I'm going to prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. God, I wish I knew how to sleep. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? a stinky one then. I guess I walked right into that one. Just kidding, there's no such pill. All right, why don't we stop beating around the bush? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? You're one of those patients with an ulterior motive, huh? What's the world coming to? Are, are you still distracted by the VA change for Takemi? Because the original VA had kind of a deeper intonation to the voice. And so the first time I played Royal, going from the original VA to the new one was a bit distracting because of the new VA is a bit more higher pitched. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays, too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. 
I guess it's extra distracting to me because, like I believe I mentioned last week, the new VA is the same VA as Annette, and I recognize it just enough to be distracting. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Well, which do you want? Okay. So, it looks like if this had been a standard run of the game without DLC, we would only have 5,000 DN to work with. Which is not a lot. But there are a variety of stuff we can use here. We have basic HP restoration. We have something for burn-free shock. We have Dizzy Forget Sleep Hunger, and one for basically a bunch of status restoring, a revival, and this for restoring HP and safe rooms, although it looks like we have five of those from the DLC anyways. We have a ton of money because of the DLC, so I'm actually gonna pick up a couple of these since we have literally no other way to revive someone right now. Thanks. That should work. And let's take three of go. these. You want that one? And three of these. Thanks. And I think that should be good for now. I don't feel like there's anything else we urgently need at the moment. And maybe I just want an excuse to listen to Butterfly kiss some more. Take care. Don't know where you heard that kind of medicine exists, good sir. This is all stuff that we're gonna follow up on later, TM. <laughs> Let's run. get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Alright, looks like we're gonna dedicate tomorrow to more shopping. I don't 
think we'll be going back to the castle anytime soon. At least not in this stream. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're being forced to go to sleep. Okay. First, let's see if there's anything we can catch in random dialogue. Survey seems to say no so far. I guess because we're expected to head straight to our hey. destination. Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. Oh, that's why we needed to go this direction. Hello. Hello, good sir. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, Many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. God, I feel that. You don't understand the term living paycheck to paycheck until you're actually doing it. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. Follow me. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Okay, I think we're being forced to... Hey! Uh, I think we're more or less being forced to go his direction. Yeah! Oh yeah, uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? No! I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. Meanwhile, this theme, I believe, is called Layer Cake, of all things. Why is it, it's called that, I couldn't tell you. Looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? You really should have done your research, Ryuji. Listen, this year's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? Oh, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here.
You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. There's that word again. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Ooh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. So here's a good indication of how tight money is at the beginning, just like Persona 4. Because if we didn't have the 100k yen, we would have only the 5,000 from the dungeon for medicine, and the other 5,000 from Ryuji for weapons and armor. Okay. Sounds good. And one knife alone is like... 38,000, so that's like already most of the money Ryuji gave us. I think I'm fine right now because I got something from the palace. Ryuji needs a real boost though. We could buy the iron pipe, but that the accuracy of that, mm, don't like it. Okay. May as well say what I have on my mind right now. These two shopkeepers we're dealing with, EYE and Takemi, they both need the gut stat. Takemi needs rank 2 guts in order to even start her, and I believe, and EYE at one point in his confidant will get locked out until guts rank 4. So that's something to start grinding like ASAP. That's what you're choosing? How's that? Well, actually get the heat whip for on because there's some uh, I that one. Because that low burn effect like could come in handy. Alright, let's head over to the guns. Alright. Okay, is that what it is? Alright, which one? Anyway. All the Phantom Thieves guns are based off of a different model. Joker, I think, is the basic revolver. Ryuji is a shotgun. Morgana is a slingshot. And On is a machine gun. most likely to use their gun. I think I'll only buy one for myself for the time being. I don't want to blow my all my money right now. I want to at least get some more from the dungeon okay. first. And keep in mind, as we uh, uh, get more party members as, as the game goes on, they're all going to have four different... Um, they're all going to have their own weapon and armor slots, so expenses for the party piles up fast. Sounds good. I am going to get armor for everyone. Hmm, that one you better not use it to pull a prank. It's worth it to grab armor for everyone because we don't want to die. That's what you're choosing? Do you like it? Hmm, 
that one. How's that? Wait a hot second. That's what you're choosing. Do I get it? You know, I only noticed literally this second that the main character is using the female armor. Just like on. Nice detail. Okay, um. Alright. Slingshot for Morgana then. Alright, which one? Hmm, that one? How's that? Okay. What accessories do you have? Resist dizzy, resist forget, resist sleep. Eh, nothing I feel particularly enthused about. Uh, come again. Later. Come to think of it, do we have anything for the D from the DLC? I should check that. I know we have costumes, but I don't think we have... Do we have any accessories? We do. They all do something different. Let's see. Experience boost, money boost. Ooh, that could be useful. What? Wait, what does hide do? What does that effect do? No, shift, shift. Decrease chances of being targeted by foes. Okay. Noblesse slash curse. Could be useful if we want to avoid instant kills. Oh my god, that one is stupid good. I got all out attack boost. Gun accuracy, fortified spirit, set. That's good. Soul touch. That could be useful. Wait, who? Why do we only have nine star like gloves compared to everything else? My fries. My stand. Last stand could be useful for something later, Kia. Gun amp. Heat up. Ooh, I like heat up. Let's all grab a camera strap. I know we could grab the arm PC, but I feel like that might be a bit too broken for the early stage. Okay, that should be good. Hmm? Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. I'm thinking about what would be a good balance of, indeed, making this series go faster, but without breaking it too much. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. That's why, as good as the RPCs are, I'm going to ignore them for the time being. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. I'm sorry, who asked for your opinion? Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. Hm. I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh. What do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. <laughs> All of these are smarmy answers. Love it. It doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. <laughs> no, 
It's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. I mean, when a guy acts like a self-absorbed prick for the entire game, of course you're not gonna like it. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. That desk! Hurry now and clean it up! Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. We have enough for a go home if we're so inclined. Oh, oh and we already have 10 lockpicks because of the DLC. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. Two proficiency points. Let's go. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. No need to cause fuss right now, I think. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? Yes, ma'am. There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Ah, this scene is exclusive to Roy. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes, he lent me a helping hand earlier. I feel like that was only a couple days ago, but it feels like forever. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going, too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. <sighs> After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. Ah, so you, you've been paying attention. 
he gave me a brief lecture this morning and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office, you didn't make a pass at her, did you? I don't know anything about her. All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> At least you admit it. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. Okay. Here's the thing. There's a the optimal, so to speak, way to play the game is to take care of everything in one go. It's possible on a fresh save, just very, very hard. Thanks to the DLC, we have several advantages that we wouldn't otherwise have. So, the, the next few streams are probably going to be nothing but the dungeon. Really? We have two weeks to do this. Well, not quite two weeks, but more on that later. understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Uh, I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. Also, I just noticed that this soda right here is apparently just called Nice Soda. I expect great things from you guys. So, something they don't tell you is that even though ideally you want to complete a palace in as short a time as possible, how long it takes entirely depends. Like, we had several days that were basically plot mandated where we had no choice but to leave. 
and you you always want to finish a palace before the two day left mark because if you aren't careful and you leave it until it's only one day left you've basically screwed yourself and the other thing is that there will also be future palaces where you get stuck at a roadblock and be forced to leave so complete as much as humanly possible I think at this point we can do the entire castle in one go. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's go. But damn. Hmm? What's up? N nothing. I, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Nico B did do the castle in one run for regular Persona 5. It just came down to the wire for him. And like I said, we already have advantages because of the DLC. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so. What do you think? I hate all of these! Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this! What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Why do people give Tenko Chabashira so much shit when she's so clearly right about everything? I will never stop wondering that. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. All right. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. In other words, lots and lots of tutorial boxes to make things go even longer. And in fact, we have a cutscene coming up. Because Velvet Room. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. I kind of want to ask that second one. I kind of want to see that second one, even though I know exactly what's going to happen. Ah, the hell with it. Shut your mouth and listen, inmate! Yep, knew she was going to do that. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. Says you, we're playing an RPG. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. In other words, the introduction of persona fusions. To that end, we must execute your persona. Only it's called this instead, because everything likes to be edgy in this game. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. 
Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, I... We could keep Arsene with us a little longer, but I feel like I want to fuse him away here specifically of the cutscene we get when we do so. So sorry, Arsene, but... Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. We're one level short of Silky. If I'd known about the accessory sooner, I might be at level 6 at this point. But we're not. So it goes. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. It's similar to Persona 4, where you can fuse a persona that can level up past your own level, but when you fuse a persona starting out, it has to be the same level as you. In this game specifically, you do later unlock the privilege of fusing higher level personas, but that's not where we are right now. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. I really wish we could grab Silky right now, but I got the end it is. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Okay. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. I actually want to bring a, a bring curse with us because I don't think we're gonna get another source of curse for a very long time. I forget if anything is weak at on to curse, but it'll probably be useful to keep with us. Will it gain new power? I wonder. Now for a rebirth. <laughs> I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Persona accidents also return in this game. We had what? We had a few in Persona 4. Let's see how long it takes until we get a Persona accident naturally.
That's why I specified naturally. Ah, how impressive. We can guarantee an accident with the fusion alarm. So I'm more saying, are we gonna get a fusion accident just casually, without needing the alarm? A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It's. Up, oh, sorry. Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. Ooh, I really like this. All right. All right. That is a thief's skill. Allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Can we do anything with our other two personas while we're here? <laughs> the inmate needs our guidance. You wish to perform an execution? Now choose! Asaki Mitama. But we're one level shy, which... Shoot. Finished for now? Yep. Done already? What? It is time, inmate. We want to collect the four Mitamas, because they give you something special when you get them something all. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Oh yeah, I love how in the past three Persona games, the, the protagonist going to the Velvet Room looks from the outside like the protagonist just decided to stand there and stare into the air for no reason while the rest of the team is just looking at them like, what, what, what's happening with them? Yeah, what she said. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. <laughs> we look like a total nut job now. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. Oh. Well. Oh, a 
tiny bit of SP restoration. I don't remember using the HP restoring items for the safe rooms, like, at all. Well. How's our progress is about... Well, our progress in the dungeon, pretty self-explanatory. How is everyone is checking on, in on HP and SP reserves, and there being unique messages for that. Hey. Amazing. What? Hmm. Oh, we're getting this exposition again. Hmm. Why the hell not? Listen up. Very confusing. What are your thoughts? Let's go. Wait, no, I didn't want to fast travel. Here's a fun little fact. You see that little wavy effect on the corners and edges of the screen. I believe that'll change color depending on the security level. There are hints of red to it because we always start a palace with a slightly higher security level. And I believe the color will change depending on how often we're seen or how often we lower security level. I'm gonna exit just to see if there's any more cutscenes. Okay, let's get back to exploring. Doesn't seem so. Or there might be a cutscene as soon as we exit this room. Now then. A bunch of tools. And I'm actually going to end it there because once we get past this door, it's basically going to be a lot of tutorials, a lot of fighting, more or less the entire palace. So before we sign off for the day, I'm going to give my last bit of trivia on the name of the track that's playing right now. It's called King, King Queen Slave. All palaces have two themes, a regular one and a remix. This palace is unique in that the remixed version plays first, and we were only getting the regular version just now. But this is going to be the version of the theme that we're going to hear from now on until we get into the, like, final fourth of the dungeon or something like that. Uh, this is probably my least favorite palace theme, but what can you do? Oh, we can finally rest our feet. <laughs> we didn't do anything. But yes, I came back in here to save again, so we don't have to listen to that scene again next week. And this is where we say goodbye. See you here next week.